Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, today I decided to show all of you all of my finished diamond paintings. Um, I just started diamond painting in October of last year and of course anybody that diamond paints know it is a very addictive hobby. So when I first started it in October, I was like, oh my gosh, this is fabulous. And I started doing diamond painting more than coloring. Um, and I actually enjoy diamond painting more than coloring. It's more therapeutic for me. Um, I have, for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Um, I have um, anxiety. Uh, I have an anxiety disorder um, and I get... A lot of anxiety, especially during stressful, um, during stressful times, which we're, we are all in right now. Um, so I find that diamond painting is very therapeutic for me to calm me down. And actually, it, when I start to feel stressed out and I feel anxiety coming on, I just come in here to my office. And I sit down and I start to diamond paint and listen to an audiobook or watch YouTube, listen to YouTube. Um, <clears throat> and it really helps. So um, for anybody that has anxiety, I strongly encourage you to try diamond painting if you haven't. Um, it's, it's an awesome hobby and I really enjoy it. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to go through the ones that I've finished uh, starting from October of last year. So this is the first one that I did. Um, it is a space scene. Um, I ordered it on Amazon. Now keep in mind in October, I didn't know about Diamond Art Club. I didn't know about Craftably. I didn't know about all of the high end companies that you could get diamond paintings from. So I just uh, went to Amazon and ordered some Amazon kits. So this was the first one I ordered of the space scene and the schematic. That's what it's supposed to look like. If you guys can see that. Um, this is a 40 by 30 centimeter. I don't even know what company this is from, to be honest with you. It didn't come with an inventory sheet. Um, it is a round drill canvas. Now, um, this one I didn't mind. Uh, the canvas was very sticky um, and I've had this hanging up in my closet since October and I haven't lost any diamonds or anything like that. Um, looks like I've got some fuzz on it but other than that um, didn't have any issues with this one. Um, obviously it's pixelated. Uh, the rendering of the the charting of this canvas obviously is not great. Um, but you can still see it, it is sparkly and you can still tell what it is. So not bad for the first one. And I think this one took me cause I, I went gangbusters on it. So I think it only took me like a week maybe. Um, cause I was working on it like every day. Um, I didn't section it off. I, the first time I remember I picked like one color and I did it all across <laughs> the canvas and I was fighting with the plastic and yeah, I don't do it that way anymore. Obviously I section them off into squares with parchment paper. Um, that's what works for me. But anyway, so this was the first one that I ever did. Kind of cool, right? Kind of cool. Okay. So that is the space scene one. All right. Now the next one I did. Oh yes. Okay. This is also one I got off Amazon. It's just a dragon. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fuzz on this one. This is a square canvas. Um, it's a 30 by 40. Again, I don't know. Oh, look here. I'm missing a drill. This drill is coming off. This canvas was the bane of my existence. Uh, I, I absolutely despised this canvas. Um, it's not very sticky. And the drills are just popping up everywhere. Um, the drill quality was very poor. Again, I don't know what company I got this from. Yeah, I can just see, look, I've got hair on it. <laughs> um, I can just see all the drills popping up all over it. But um, yeah, and so going forward, unfortunately, since this was my first square, I, I absolutely hated squares going forward. Now this image looks, I mean, it's still pixelated. It's 
it's a diamond painting kit. I mean, all diamond painting kits are going to have some pixelation. That's the way it is. But for the most part, I think the image turned out better than I thought it was. It's very sparkly. Um, but I just, I hated working the squares and trying to line them up. This was before I had multi-placers. Um, I didn't know about the checkerboard method. I, you know, it was total newbie on this one with, um, with square diamonds. So, um, as Mrs. Coffee said, I just, I haven't found the right, the right square diamond painting kit yet to, um, make me happy with using squares. So, and again, this was just some random kit off Amazon that I got. Um, I don't know the seller, but I do, I do remember the canvas was not very sticky. The drill quality was crap. Um, but I mean, I know it was under $10 and you know, for you get, you pay, you get what you pay for, you know, but yeah, there are all kinds of drills popping up on this one. So yes, uh, this one would probably need to be sealed if I cared enough about it, but I don't. So yeah. So anyway, so that's the dragon. And this one was in, um, October, November of last year. So, okay. It's the second one. Okay. So the third one I did is a partial and I love this kit. Um, I don't know what company it's from. It was from Amazon and it is a partial. It is a 30 by 30 square. And the only thing that you diamond painted was the cat, the background's not, and the eyes are not. But this kit was great. This is a round drill kit, perfect snack size painting. Love this size. Um, pretty easy to frame. Um, so yeah, so that's a partial and I finished this one quickly. Um, I think this one only took me a couple of days. Oh no, I lost a drill. I just noticed that right here. Well, crud. I'm going to have to see if I kept the drills. I normally don't keep drills for ones that don't have DMC codes. So I'll have to look for that, but it looks like I'm missing a number eight. But that's okay. Isn't that cute though? It kind of reminded me of my cat of Java. So, um, yeah. And this one wasn't very sticky either. I do remember that. Um, I've noticed that with some partials, they're not as sticky as um, a full drill cut. Maybe it's just, you know, the quality of the kit. I'm not sure. But yeah, so, oh no, look, I missed all of those. These came out too. Oh my goodness. All right here. Y'all can't see that, but well, anyway, you get the idea. Cute parcel kitty, Amazon. Okay. All right. Now the next one. Yes. Okay. So this was my diamond art club. My very first diamond art club. Um, I can't remember the name of this kit. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I know it's not in stock anymore. Loved working on this kit. It was a round drill kit and going from my Amazon kits to a diamond art club kit. I, I fell in love with diamond art club due to the fact that you've got your, you know, schematic over here. You've got your DMC code and your symbols. The canvas is so soft, lays flat. Um, the, um, the canvas was very sticky. Didn't have any problems with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The drills were of excellent quality and it had AB drills. Now this was my first time using AB drills. And if you can see, I don't know if you can, but there are some down here, they're white ABs. You can see that sparkle. Um, anywhere that there is, like they sprinkled them throughout the branches the snow branches so absolutely love this and I do have a frame that I got from um, Benjamin Moore before they went out of business <clears throat> an actual uh, black frame with glass that I'm gonna put this on I'm just trying to think of the best way to keep it in the frame um, I'm gonna have to 
probably get some kind of thick poster board to glue this on before I put it in the frame. Because if you just put it in the frame by itself, I feel like it's gonna like, you know, shrink down, like not shrink down, but like fall down in the frame. I could be completely wrong. Um, I need to research that a little bit more. I've been kind of lazy as far as <laughs> looking at how to frame things. I've watched some YouTube videos. Um, I just need to go back and look at look at some more in detail and actually pay attention. But I love the fact that Diamond Archive always gives you that, you know, the schematic right there, which is great. Great, great. And on their newer kits, of course, they have, you know, down at the bottom down here, they'll have um, the artist, the title, um, the schematic. So, yeah. But I thoroughly enjoyed working on this painting. Um, didn't take me long, but again, I was going gangbusters on it. Um, so, yeah. So, that is the Black Horse. From Diamond Art Club. I know that's not the name of it. And I can't find the inventory sheet for this one. I, I tore my office up looking for it so I could show you the inventory sheet. I don't know. I must not have kept it. But anyway. And all of these images are on my Instagram account as well. So you can always um, flip through that and see um, progress. I posted progress pictures. Um, I knew of this one for sure. So highly recommend Diamond Art Club. I can't say that enough. Um, they're a fabulous company and they make a very high quality product and their customer service is just phenomenal. So, um, love it. Okay. So that was the black horse. And yeah, that one was in November. Okay. Then this one. Yes. Star or and this was my Christmas Cardinals. I adore, adore this canvas. It is so sparkly. It had um, special rhinestone type uh, drills. This is a round drill. It's just, it's fabulous, fabulous. Um, I do like the fact that with Star Or down at the bottom, it gives you the drill area size, which is a 47 by 35. And then the fabric size, which is a 51 by 40. Um, I do like that. And of course, they have your inventory down here. They have your schematic right there. If it'll focus. So, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed this, especially working on this around Christmas. I know you can do it. Come on. You can do it. There you go, Shug. Um, working on this around Christmas was a joy. It just, it really put me in a festive mood. Uh, so I really, really like this one. I have not had any issues with Star Wars. I know some people have. Um, I've always had good luck with the canvas being very sticky, the image being clear, the drills being good quality. I didn't run out of any drills. I have never run out of any drills um, as of yet. Fingers crossed. Let's not jinx myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one was a joy joy to work on and especially with these rhinestone I know you can't really see but they're like they were like gold and silvery and pewter color really pretty really pretty so yeah so that was my Christmas Cardinal so this one was in December and this is the inventory sheet that came with it which is lovely. And um, usually what I do is I just check off on the left. I go through all the drills to make sure I have all the drills. So I check that off. Comes in a nice little um, star or brochure that tells you, you know, how to get started and how to diamond paint. So that's great for um, beginners. And of course, you know, all, all kits, come with a toolkit. So you get your your boat, your pen, some wax at a minimum, and then some other companies will add, you know, tweezers or a squishy to go in your pen. So, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Star Or. Uh, Lucy does a great job, um, in my opinion, with these. So, okay. So that is the Cardinals. 
And I'm pretty sure you can um, order this from Lucy's website if you go to StarOr.com. Um, I know she was selling things on Amazon. I've noticed that the inventory on Amazon with Star Or has diminished. Um, I have much better luck ordering from her website. Um, I actually have a couple of uh, diamond paintings that I ordered from her that I'm waiting to come in um, from her website. So um, I highly recommend that. And uh, I will have Star Wars information down in the uh, description below. So yeah, Christmas Cardinals. Pretty sure you can get this one on her website. So you can get it for Christmas. Okay. All right, the next one I did is Cotart, and I'm not going to be able to get it all in the frame. So you've got Cotart up here, your schematic right here. If you can see that, this is the orange kitty. This is a round drill kit. I thoroughly enjoyed working on this kit. Wonderful, wonderful kit. Very sticky canvas. Uh, this is a 16 by 20. It says that down here, 16 by 20, uh, pretty standard size that you could easily get framed. Um, but I loved the bright colors of this one. I have a, a spare bedroom that is um, got like oranges and blues and yellows in it. So I thought this would be great in that room. Uh, canvases, all my coach art canvases so far have been very sticky. Um, I, now, if you notice, I have had some fraying over here. Uh, but that's easy to remedy because you're if you're going to frame this, you're probably going to cut this off anyway. Uh, I know I am. So um, you're going to get a little bit of fraying just because the canvas isn't quite as soft as like a diamond art club. It's more of a, a plasticky feel. Um, but that doesn't bother me because it's still, still good quality. Uh, the drills are fabulous. Um, didn't have a lot of trash with this one. Um, yeah, so highly recommend Cotart as well. Cotart can be found on Amazon and uh, they have a pretty good selection, not a huge selection, but they have a, a decent selection of canvases. Um, I'm working on, uh, I'm not working on, but I got another one from Cotart, The Sun and Sea. I just did an unboxing of that one fairly recently. Um, so you can check out that video and see as well. Uh, but yeah, good company. And have, I have not had any issues um, with Cotart. So um, I'm trying to remember though, actually. I might have to go back and watch my own video. I'm wondering, did I have issues with this one? I don't think so. I mean, I had all the drills. Oh, I remember what it was with this one. Okay, so yeah, a lot of the drills on this one were broken, like chipped in half or um, had little bits on the end. I do remember that now, yes. Um, so the drill quality wasn't fabulous on this one, um, but I had plenty to, to finish it with um, the drills they provided, so that wasn't an issue. Now, if I had run out of drills because they were broken, that would have been a problem. But like I said, I've never run out of drills as of yet. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I do remember that. I had a lot of broken drills with this one, but it got done and it looks fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. So yeah, that's Cotart. And that one was done in January. Okay. Oh yes. This one. I have to flip it sideways and I will not be able to get all of it in. This is, oh, and I forgot to show you, this was the inventory sheet that came with, um, that came with <clears throat> the Cotart kit. So you could see, are you going to focus, uh, you're not going to focus, are you? Anyway, comes with a nice inventory sheet with a schematic and then all of your symbols and DMC codes and the quantity that you got as well with Cotart. So, all right. Okay, so this is Trixie from Diamond Art Club. Um, this one I worked on in January, and <laughs> this is a round drill. Um, this, this was the biggest one I had done. 
um, at this time. So this took me a little bit of time. Uh, but I didn't have any issues with this one. I had plenty of drills. Um, canvas was super sticky, um, as all of the Diamond Art Club ones that I've received have been. Um, the image is just perfect. They charted this one beautifully. And I had AB drills, obviously. Um, you can see maybe the yellow. I had yellow AB drills. And then I had... I think some gold, yep, some gold AB drills down here in her gloves, and then some blue AB drills in her eyes, and I think they were on her gloves up here too, yes. So, um, a lot of work on this one, but it was, it was definitely fun to work on and see the progress as I went along, and I highly recommend, if no one has a Hannah Lynn, Diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. I highly recommend to get at least one. Um, will I get another one, another Hannah Lynn? I don't know. I'm not really into um, hanging up something like this in my house. Um, I did it because I love steampunk um, images, and I just I really like this image. Um, so that's why I did this Hannah Lynn. The other one that I would want to do from Diamond Art Club would be um, the, the sea turtle one, but unfortunately it's a square, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm not getting any more square cuts going forward. Um, square really stresses me out. So yeah, not, not gonna do squares, but this was fabulous, fabulous to work on. Um, loved it, and this one was I did this one in, um, I think it was December and January. Yep, I think, or December, I'm not sure. But yeah, it took me a little bit of time, but it was worth it, and it just looks great. Love it, so sparkly, sparkle, sparkle shook. So yeah, has anyone else done a Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club? Let me know in the comments below which one you did. And your thoughts about um, your Hannah Lynn. But yeah, so that one was in, I think it was December, January. Yeah. So awesome. Loved it. Okay. All right. Here comes the Mama Jamma. <laughs> All right. Oh, did I say what size that Hannah Lynn was? I probably didn't. My bad. Hannah Lynn was 47 by 66 centimeters. Okay. Oh, and then I also, did I show you this? <laughs> this is your um, inventory sheet that you get from Diamond Art Club. It tells you your size, the SKU number, the schematic, and then it lists all of your drills. Um, and your DAC codes and your symbols. So I really like these and this is a sticker So you could actually cut these out and you can put them on your um, On your storage boxes however you store them, but yeah, so I like the fact that you always get one of these with a diamond art Okay This is one of the biggest ones I've worked on <laughs> So this is Astral Guardian by Craftably um, I'm not going to be able to get all of it into the scene. Let me turn it here. Sorry, I don't mean to make you sick. All right, so at the top, you've got Craftably. Over here on the right side, you've got the schematic. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That's the schematic. Then you've got your color list, which it gives you um, your number, your symbol, and then your DMC code over on the right. And then you've also got um, another key code on the left. Now, I've already done a post review of this, and it's on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. Um, but I would prefer to have seen, you know, a key here and then a key down on the bottom right. Um, but absolutely love, love, love this image. It is gorgeous. It's a round drill. And this... Uh, the canvas was super sticky. The drill quality was fabulous. I had hardly any trash 
with this kit. Uh, very minimal for the size that this is. I mean, this is a, what is this? This is a 50 by 75 centimeter. So it's, it's pretty big. And with Craftably, you've got an inventory sheet that lists, you know, your number, your symbols, your DMC code, and then also the quantity that you get. Um, and that's the, the beautiful schematic. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful! Uh, the symbols are super easy to, come on, you can do it, show. You can do it. There you go. Uh, the symbols are super easy to read on the Craftably canvas. I didn't have any symbols that were close, um, you know, where I had a problem differentiating between, you know, okay, this symbol is that one and, you know, this one is, you know, another symbol. Didn't have any issues with that. Um, I didn't have any problems with the drills. The drills were of good quality. Like I said, I had very little trash. Um, the canvas is of good shape. It's not quite as soft as um, Diamond Art Club, but it does have glitter to it. Glitter. Everybody loves glitter. So again, thoroughly enjoy. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed working on this canvas from Craftably, and Craftably is my second favorite company to buy from, uh, primarily due to the quality of their canvas and their drills, and the fact that all the drills come pre-bagged. Like in little, all the drills come in Ziploc, little Ziploc bags for you and they're already coated. You don't have to kit it up. You can just open it and go. So I, I wish all diamond painting companies would do that. I really like working out of um, Ziploc bags that are coated. Um, that's my new go-to now. I don't use my Harbor Freight containers anymore. Um, I'm using Ziploc bags because that's what works best for me. So anyway, uh, Craftably is a great company. Um, they're a small company run out of Texas and um, they have licensed uh, artists. Uh, I can't say enough about them. So they are my number two go-to um, for diamond paintings. I have noticed that they are low on stock right now as everybody is because of um, the coronavirus. So just be patient with, you know, all the companies that you like to buy from. I know it's frustrating, but, um, you know, there are bigger problems going on right now, Shug. Bigger problems. So I'm sure all of us have plenty, plenty of things that we can work on. Um, so, yeah, just be patient. Okay, so that's Craftably. And this was a gift for my best friend, Sean. I just haven't framed it yet. I gotta seal it and all that stuff. So just been, you know, lazy, I guess. <laughs> okay, now this is my last finish. Um, oh, and I finished that. I finished the Craftably one in February. Okay, and this is the last one that I just did. Uh, absolutely loved working on this one. This is from Tin Me, Tin Me Art. Uh, they're pretty pink tulips. Uh, it's a 60 by 40 uh, round drill canvas. I did this for Rachel Ray's Easter DP along. And I just, I loved working on this. There was a lot of color blocking with this one, which was wonderful. After working on such heavy confetti uh, paintings, <clears throat> I absolutely love this because I could just sit there and multi-place all the way across here. Um, you know, down through here, you can multi-place. I mean, it was great. I got this done fairly quickly, um, fairly quickly. Uh-oh, that's a drill. Where did that come from? I don't know where that came from. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, this canvas was super sticky. I didn't have an issue with anything popping off. I don't see a hole in it. Like, I don't see where I lost a drill but I just pulled this drill off of it. It's like a, a cream color. So I'll just put this up here and look for that in a minute. Um, but yeah, this was a fabulous one to work on for uh, Rachel Ray's Easter DP along. So uh, thank you, Rachel, for hosting that. Wonderful, loved it. Um, 
complete joy. So Chen Me Arts can be found on Amazon. Um, I think I got this canvas. I think it was under $15. Uh, the canvas itself, um, it is a little bit soft on the back and it does have sparkle throughout. Um, I don't know a lot about Chen Me Arts. Um, so to be really honest with you, I don't know if this image is licensed or not. Um, it didn't say, so I'm going to assume that it's not, unfortunately. But yes, and I, I actually went and looked for this image um, on Amazon last week, and I, I don't see it. I, they have, Tin Me Arts has another image that's close to this, but it's not this one. So um, I, don't, I don't think they're offering this image anymore, unfortunately. So yeah. But anyway, so yeah, with the Timmy Arts, you get a key code over here, you get a key code here, and then you get a really nice schematic down at the bottom. If you guys can see that, that's the schematic. So I think it turned out pretty close to what the schematic was. And for an Amazon diamond painting, I think, you know, it looks pretty clear. I mean, it doesn't look you know, too pixelated. Of course, like I said, all diamond paintings are going to have some pixelation to them just because of, you know, what you're doing. I mean, basically you're doing cross stitch with diamonds. So it's going to have some pixelation to it. But anyway, so those are my finished diamond paintings as of right now. Um, I am working on, I have five active diamond paintings going right now. I have uh, Mandy Manzano, Worlds Away. That's for my uh, Mandy uh, DP 2020, uh, the DP along that me and Shaleen and Lisa are doing. So please uh, join us with that. Um, you can use the hashtag Mandy DP 2020 on Instagram. You can join uh, Lisa Bradley's Facebook group, Shaleen's Facebook group, or my Facebook group, or all three of us, um, and post your progress pictures um, on all of our groups. We have albums that you can put your finished uh, paintings in as well as, you know, you can just post progress pictures. So we'd love to have you join us on that. So I'm working on Mandy Manzano Worlds Away from Diamond Art Club. I'm also working on the Toucan Threesome from Diamond Art Club, which is just fabulous. Um, the bright colors in that are, are great to work on right now. Um, makes me smile with the cheery colors. So uh, that one was charted beautifully in my opinion. Um, so I'm working on, yeah, Worlds Away, the Toucan Threesome, um, Star or Stand By Me. I'm probably about halfway, a little over halfway done on that one. Um, the White Tiger by Dar Diamond Art Club, which that is the square. <laughs> so I put it to the side because I was starting to get frustrated um, I'll revisit it eventually. And then I also have a like beach pier scene, fairly large diamond painting from Diamond Art Club that is also square that I'm working on for my husband. So I have five actively going right now, which is really not normal for me. Normally I would just do one at a time and, you know, just go gangbusters on one. But, um, I, I've noticed I've started to get bored with working on the same one all the time, especially if you're working on a really big one, which most of the Diamond Art Club ones are larger. So I like to, you know, split it up now and just one night I'll work on, you know, Worlds Away, one night I'll work on the Toucans, you know, one night I'll work on Stand By Me. So it's nice to mix it up. So I do recommend if you're, if you're finding yourself getting bored with the same diamond painting. If you have more than one, which come on, we all have more than one that we can do. Um, just open up another one, start another one, try that. Um, that's helped me get out of, you know, the funk of being bored with the same one. Um, yeah. So anyway, those are my finished diamond paintings and I, I just can't tell you enough how much I enjoy working on diamond paintings. Um, it's been a wonderful craft for me to pick up. Um, can be expensive. 
I will say that can be expensive, especially if you order from, you know, high quality sites. Um, but again, what, what I've realized is, you know, you get what you pay for and I would much rather pay a premium price for something that I know is going to last, um, and not have, you know, drills coming off of it. Um, yeah. So, um, never had any issue with Diamond Art Club or Craftably, um, you know, so those are two that I can definitely recommend as being high quality uh, companies that are that have licensed images as well, which is important. And I'm only buying, um, you know, from companies with licensed images as much as I can. So, yes. So anyway, so that is my finished diamond paintings. I hope you all have enjoyed this. And I'm also going to have a video next week of all of the diamond paintings that I didn't show you in the stash that are hanging up in my closet and in drawers. I'm gonna go through those in the order that I want to finish them. And um, since I got a little bit of stimulus money, I went ahead and ordered some Diamond Art Club um, kits this morning. Um, there were some that came back in stock, so I went ahead and ordered a few. I probably won't see them for about a month, but um, there were ones that were out of stock and um, I think um, Diamond and Ruby people got an email saying you could pre-order uh, the ones that they had on the way. So um, I went ahead and ordered some of those because, <laughs> you know, I'm crazy like that. But anyway, so just wanted to share that with you all. Hope everybody has a lovely, lovely uh, finish to your weekend and has a good week. Um, know that I am thinking about all of you, uh, hugs and prayers to everyone through, through these trying times and, um, just try to stay positive and know that eventually, eventually we'll get through this and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm a firm believer in trying to stay positive through all this. So, um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know. Uh, when I put up videos, but uh, as of right now, I'm trying to stick to my schedule of Tuesday coloring videos, Thursday diamond painting videos, and then Sunday is just a random, you know, <clears throat> whatever I feel like showing you. So today was showing you finishes of diamond painting. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye guys.